May peace and blessings be upon you. Welcome to the first Arabic lesson with animation channel. This is the first lesson of Arabic learning with animation. Today we are going to learn some basic Arabic expressions and useful daily life phrases. You will need them in your daily life while you are in Arab country or maybe you have some Arab friends and you want to talk to them in Arabic. So keep watching this video because it will be helpful for you and you will learn some Arabic today and it is easy and fun. So let's get started. First of all, get a pen and paper and be ready to write the Arabic sentences and the meaning of them with pronunciation. In Arabic, greetings start with Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. It means peace be upon you. This is the first thing they say when Arab people meet with each other. And the answer for that is Wa alaykum as salam. Wa alaykum as salam. Wa alaykum as salam. It means peace be upon you too. And another short greeting is Marhaba. 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 It means hi or hello. Now let's ask about the person. كيف حالك؟ كيف حالك؟ كيف حالك؟ It means how are you? And كيف حالك is for female. Whenever you are talking to a man, you will say كيف حالك؟ And if you are talking to a female, then you will say كيف حالك؟ In Arabic, they use both male and female gender. So remember this and take note about it. And the answer is Ana bikhair. Ana bikhair. Ana bikhair. It means I am fine. Or you can just say bikhair. Bikhair. Fine. And shukran. Shukran. Thanks. And now ask about the second person. Wa anta kaifa haluka? Wa anta kaifa haluka? Wa anta kaifa haluka? It is for male. Wa anti kaifa haluki? Wa anti kaifa haluki? It is for female. It means and how are you? The difference is the last part of the word, ka and ki. Ka for male and ki is for female. Always remember of the gender because it's important in Arabic to use it. And how to answer it? Ana bikhair aydan. Ana bikhair aydan. Means I am fine too. Shukran means thanks. And to say you are welcome is Afwan. Afwan. Now let's learn how to introduce yourself. To introduce yourself, you will say Ismi and your name. For example, Ismi Ibrahim. Ismi Ibrahim. Ismi Ibrahim. Ismi means my name is. Ibrahim is a male name. In Arabic, or you can say, "Ana Ibrahim." Ana Ibrahim. Ana means I am. Ibrahim is the name. Ana Ibrahim. I am Ibrahim. And now, how to ask the name? Ma ismuka? Ma ismuka? Ma ismuka? Means what is your name? And again, for female, ma. Ismuki. Ma ismuki. At the end, it's ka for male and ki for female. Remember, it's always important to say the correct gender word. Otherwise, if you are a beginner, then they will understand that you are learning Arabic and it's not a big deal to be wrong. Because mistakes always make us strong in our speaking and we cannot learn without any mistake. 
So be happy with that. And the answer is Ana, Ismi, and your name. Or you can just say Ismi and your name. Or Ana and your name. For example, Ana Ismi Fatima. Ana Ismi Fatima. Ana Ismi Fatima. Fatima is a female name in Arabic. You can also say Ismi Fatima. Or Ana Fatima. Or Ana Ismi Fatima. All of them are same. And don't be confused. They all means same. And you can use any of them. And how to say goodbye? Ma salama. Ma salama. Means goodbye. Or you can also say Ila liqa. Ila liqa. Means goodbye. Now let's review our lesson. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. Marhaba. Marhaba. Kayfa haluka. Kayfa haluka. Kayfa haluki. Kayfa haluki. Ana bi khair. Ana bi khair. Wa anta kayfa haluka. Wa anta kayfa haluka. Or wa anti kayfa haluki. Ana bi khair aydan. Ana bi khair aydan. Shukran. Shukran. Afwan. Afwan. Ismi Ibrahim. Ismi Ibrahim. Ana Ibrahim. Ana Ibrahim. Ma ismuka. Ma ismuka. Ma ismuki. Ma ismuki. Ismi Fatima. Ismi Fatima. Ana Fatima. Ana Fatima. Ana ismi Fatima. Ana ismi Fatima. Ma salama. Ma salama. Ila liqa. Ila liqa. So that's all for today. I hope everything is clear. But if you didn't understand or if you have any questions or confusion, then you can always ask from me in the comments section. And I will always try to answer your questions.